this is uh, beautiful downtown Gary, Indiana. I really didn't go out searching for the worst parts of Detroit, but this seems to be about as bad as anything I've seen so far. Yeah, this is uh, an example of kind of a post-apocalyptic world in some ways. You see how much this is gone. I think some of this is going to end up. Yeah. One stupid urban renewal project after another. What are there's Looks like there were cops outside of the nightclub back here. Just sitting on security. And you got the 24 hour payday loan. <laughs> and you can look at old pictures of downtown Gary. It was bustling city 40 years ago even if at that point it was starting to go it uh starting to shrink a lot of people were moving out farther out to the suburbs so after I go through the downtown area I'll take you back up uh west Broadway and we'll go down to Jackson and see uh Michael Jackson's house population is currently? I think it's between 79 and 80,000. It's a rough estimate. I think it was just a hair over 80,000 in 2010 when they did the census. But a lot of people have left since then. Although I think some are starting to come back. It's really going to be probably a couple decades before we're most of the city really sees any revivement. Well, I think once they finally give up on urban renewal projects, then things will actually turn around. Yeah. They, they aren't going to fix it. They've, they've had a, half a century to do whatever they're going to do, and they've just made it worse. Well, it sounds like it's to a point where, in, I mean, the properties are literally abandoned. Nobody's taking care of them. Just let them. Are they? Can they be homesteaded? Yeah. There's police. Yeah, there's cops over there. It looks like. Well, when they get when they're totally abandoned, uh, as far as um, title goes, I guess you couldn't just homestead it, but you would pro probably need to buy a uh, buy the tax lien on it. Just cancel out there. the old back taxes. A lot of these places, they still tax them at what their last value was while well, somebody well, still wanted it. and it was highly inflated. Yeah. That's what makes them totally unusable. In some ways, the designs of the buildings and the, uh, the zoning, it's very different than Maryville and Crown Point. Much more the city design, but it's obviously just gone pretty much to waste at this point. Trying to get to like 21st up there. Yeah, usually after windows get smashed in on a place, uh, people go after scrap metal, copper pipes, even wires, um, all kinds of stuff. And then they, uh, 
after they strip the metal, they take what else that whatever else they can get the value. Sinks. I've seen cabinets ripped out of places. Bathtubs, toilets. Just just about everything you can imagine. Where are they getting value for a used toilet that they ripped out of an abandoned property? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe they uh they've got some use for it. I think sometimes with the toilets, they just smash them out to smash them out. <coughs> we got a Gary police behind us. So. <coughs> small house here yeah, this with the sign in front of it. Michael Jackson phone. <coughs> Definitely a much nicer landscape than it was when we growing up. I'll take a spinner on the box and get a look at it. Do you know how long the sign's been in the front yard? Um, pretty much a lot of that was put up, well, all of it was put up after he died. Yeah, his house, look, it, the house there wasn't, uh, much, the so yard wasn't much different looking than the rest of these places along here. Very, just a small, tiny little house. It wasn't that even clear if it was anything different. Yeah, I was wondering about those. They might want to use those for something else. Yeah, because they uh, have a similar sign or a similar fence. It's a very well manicured place. Yeah. I was at Pork Fest when I heard that he died. I used to run around these streets. Oh, there's quite a few people who uh, used to live in this area. What's the crime like in this area now? Well, this is one of the more... I imagine this block right here, some of these blocks where they're a little bit more fixed up, aren't uh, really the problem areas, but you look north of here where that house is the only one sitting on this block. And they've torn down everything on that block. It's, these were obviously... Uh, some of them were just so dilapidated they just destroyed them.
a lot of the new construction is churches or government buildings. There's nothing really commercial or residential. Yeah, you gotta be careful about anything that's gonna require a tax payment. Taxes are so high. A few things can exist like that. Some small restaurants and gas stations. Budget motel is still there. Wow. Oh, doesn't look like a motel. Yeah, it doesn't. I think Maybe that's on charged by the hour. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those places. This is Gary. It doesn't look like too much is going on tonight as far as crime goes. I'll take you down 25th and show you where those four homicides were this past week. It was a elderly couple, they were stabbed at their house. I think that happened on the 2500 block of Delaware. They found a guy, a body burnt out been stabbed and his car was set on fire in the 2700 block of Maryland. <coughs> Cedar Lake. What's that say? Cedar Lake Police parked in there. Really? Yeah. Yep, you can back around and get that. I got a shot of it. You did? Nice. I find that kind of odd. Why are they there? Delaware, that was down there where there was a double homicide. And then uh, Maryland down the 2700 block, which is a little ways down there in the wooded area. They found a car set on fire and there's a body in the trunk and then there was uh, another homicide up here 25th in Georgia which I think is down there uh, past that stop sign this, this area was a little busy this week Shotgun houses? Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of them are out here. No. This is all like wetland over here. Never developed. Well, I think there is a... I want to say a train line farther that way. The only thing that was really built through here was the expressway. If you want to take a ride down around in the daytime, tomorrow too, you can see a whole lot more. You can probably even go in some of these places. Some of them don't even have the front door on them. gang presence strong? Oh, quite a bit. Although it's it's changed over the years. I mean, there was always sort of an, you know, talk of gangs and Gary since, I think, the 60s, maybe even earlier. If you look at what people consider gangs now to what they were 30, 40, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago, it's very different. I mean, there was a lot of um, you know, John Dillinger was around here. He would come to Gary a lot. Al Capone would even occasionally come down here. So it was, in some ways, it's always been a, a city that's had crime issues, but now it's to where a point where, because there's really no good source of income, you know, you can't go work at a mill, you can't get a job that pays well very easily. A lot of people are just turning that, you know, 
it, it's basically a drug war field um, fight. Because that's how they're making their money. People that are shooting people. It's a cell phone now. That's stuck right there. Mm -hmm.
Last time I was in here, there was plastic. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going you quite a bit. One of the front boards wiggles there, so just be careful of that. What? One of those steps isn't in, like the, the plank is just loose. Yeah, I think it's that one right there. I'm not stepping there either. Dude. That's all these stuff there, which is sort of deceiving. What is this step here? No, no, it's, like, it's not actually a step. It's just like a piece of uh, window framing. March 21st, 2012 is where this newspaper's from. Yeah, that's what filled in back there. Hey, hey there's a light it. with a bulb in it. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, people do come back here, homeless people, others. I mean, when it's, when it's really bad, and the winters around here are horrible, you'll get 10 below zero. Probably a lot of it's snow and ice. Yeah. It's weighted down. And then cut through. See how they did the uh, plaster? These bars. This metal, metal lab. This stuff fell off the ceiling, I guess. Yeah, they twist tied it on. Um, there. Yeah, they see it? They, like the, they twist tied it with the little uh, wire under these metal bars, and then they skimmed the plaster. 
I'm surprised all this metal hasn't been taken. Yeah, some of it's pretty new. I don't know how long ago this fell. I haven't been here since probably over five years ago. No, it's more recent. This station's been abandoned by the 70s. I don't know. 80s? But this all this plaster has it wasn't falling when I was sitting here. There's always some talk of fixing up these things, but that's all it's ever been. Um, yeah. Oh uh, man, I don't even see how you fix this up. This is just clear it out. And then you build if you want to put another nice Yeah. Another abandoned back here. This is a train platform. The old railroad that used to run uh, passengers was on that side. And you can get up to the second level here without having to climb those scary steps. Now it has 2013 on it. Yeah. It's the newest thing here. 